Hello everybody, call your Swecker in Birmingham, Alabama. Hope you're having an awesome day. Wanted to talk to home buyers about surveys and it, within the process of buying the house, it comes up about whether or not you should get a survey. And conventional wisdom says that you should always get a survey with very limited circumstances. You need to know what you're buying. If you're in a platted subdivision, particularly one that's fairly new, it's okay possibly not to get one, if, especially if they'll show you what's called an as-built survey where the house sits on the land and gives you a general idea of your boundaries. Now, that's there comes the issue. You don't know what you're gonna do in the future or if the other houses around you are built up already and they have fences, uh, don't assume that those fences are necessarily on the property owner that has the fence. Sometimes, and quite, it's actually more common than you think, the fences will encroach onto your property or there could be two fences encroaching your property based on just what people thought over the years where the property lines were. And you need to know that up front so that when you go to resale, because a lot of people say, well, I, you know, I don't care. It's, it's about two feet over. Well, you might care when you go to sell your house and you get a real stickler of a buyer gonna buy your house and they, and they wanna force those people to move the uh, fence over and you wanna go ahead and settle those issues as soon as possible. The other issue too is you might wanna build a shed or a barn or a storage unit, just something there, a carport, whatever it might be, and you need to know where the boundary lines are so that you can follow setback rules. Uh, the setback rules are set by your local uh, building authority, the local city, the county, those type of things depending on where you are. And so you want to make sure that uh, you don't have to rebuild that new uh, garage you just built because, well, you're too close to the next lot over because you didn't go check out, see what the setback lines were and that kind of thing. That will make it real easy with a boundary survey. So anyway, uh, get a survey anytime uh, you can because I think it's uh, well worth the $400, $450, whatever it may be. Usually under $500 as long as you're getting a normal size lot uh, that most folks buy, not buying something out in the country, that sort of thing. If you have any questions, comments, or disagree with anything I've had to say, email me. Call your at megaagents.com. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.